Learning focus. In previous lesson, we have learned how to analyze a displacement time graph and finding velocity from a displacement time graph, where the velocity is equal to the gradient of the graph. In this lesson, we are going to proceed to velocity time graph, where we will learn how to analyze a velocity time graph, how to solve the calculation questions related to velocity time graph, and how to convert a velocity time graph to other graph. Velocity time graph one. A velocity time graph illustrates how the velocity of a moving object varies over time. It is the most useful graph for analyzing motion. In SPM, more than 90% of the questions related to graph of motion in the SPM exam are questions of velocity time graph. There are a few things that you need to know about a velocity time graph. First, it tells the velocity at any instant. For example, in this graph, we can tell that the velocity of trolley B at 20 second is 10 m per second, whereas the velocity of trolley A at 20 second is 30 m per second. Second, the gradient of velocity time graph represents the acceleration of the motion. Third, the area between the graph line and the x-axis represent the displacement of the motion. Fourth, the positive and negative value of the velocity tells the direction of motion. Click on the More Explanation button for further explanation. You may also skip the explanation and proceed to the exercise directly. Velocity Time Graph 2 In a velocity time graph, the gradient of the graph represents the acceleration. The higher the gradient, the higher the acceleration. The lower the gradient, the lower the acceleration. For example, in this graph, the acceleration of trolley A is higher than trolley B because the gradient of the graph line of trolley A is higher than the gradient of trolley B. If the gradient is negative, the acceleration is also negative. A negative acceleration can mean deceleration or accelerates in the negative direction. Take notes that a velocity time graph is different from a displacement time graph. In displacement time graph, the gradient is equal to velocity, whereas in velocity time graph, the gradient is equal to acceleration. Let's try to find the acceleration of trolley A. The change of velocity is 30 meter per second, and the change of time is 20 meter per second. Therefore, the gradient is 30 over 20, equal to 1.5. The acceleration of trolley A is 1.5 meter per second square. Velocity time graph 3. In a velocity time graph, the area between the graph and the x-axis represents the displacement. One thing that we need to note about the area in graph is, the area above x-axis is positive, whereas area below x-axis is negative. For example, in this graph, area P is 100 square meter, whereas area Q is negative 25 square meter but not positive 25 square meter. When the area is negative, the displacement must also be negative. A negative displacement means the motion is in the opposite direction. Let's come back to this graph. From 0 to 10 seconds, the displacement is positive 100 meter, shows that the object moved 100 meter in the positive direction. After 10 seconds, the displacement become negative 25 meter, suggests that the object turned back and moved 25 meter in the negative direction. As a result, the total displacement is 75 meter. How about the distance travel? Distance is a scalar quantity. It has negative value. Even though the area below the x-axis is negative, we still take the distance travel as positive 25 meter, but not negative 25 meter. As a result, the total distance travel is equal to 100 meter plus 25 meter equal to 125 meter. This shows how we find displacement and distance from a velocity time graph.